and welcome to Unique Teaching Resources. I'd like to show you some of the slides in my Math Word Problems Halloween PowerPoint activity. All of the word problems in this activity involve just addition and subtraction. I'm just going to close the slideshow for a moment and show you the student response page. There are going to be 10 different word problems in this activity. Okay. You're provided with a sheet okay, that you can print out for your students to respond on, and there's little picture cues there to help them get started. Okay. When you are printing this out, you need to realize that there are 23 slides, okay, and that this is slide 23. You would go to File, Print, and where it says Slides in the middle, you want to type in slide 23 okay, and then press print. If you do not do this step, you will print out all 23 slides and you'll waste a lot of ink and paper. So be very careful that you follow this step. Okay, let's go ahead and start the slideshow. And I'm showing this as a video because it will show you the animations that are provided in it. Most math teachers during Halloween will come up with some word problem activities related to this theme, and I think that your students will find that this is a very fun activity for them to do during the week. <clears throat> there are 10 questions during this presentation. I would probably split it up, maybe doing two word problems each day as a beginning or a warm-up activity. and they would complete all 10 within that week. Okay. Each slide begins with the information. Frankenstein got four candy bars at the first house he visited. He got six at the next house he visited. He gave three candy bars to the zombie. Okay, next comes our question. How many candy bars does Frankenstein have? I would keep this slide up. My students would have their worksheet, okay? and they're going to do number one. It has a little candy bar there. And I would encourage them to use pictures to help them figure it out and to write that in the box. Okay? After that, we would go over the answers. We would review the question again. Okay? Frankenstein got four candy bars at the first house he visited. Okay, have your students even count out loud with you. One, two, three, four. Okay. He got six at the next house he visited. I would ask my students, is that going to be an addition or subtraction? Okay. And then we've got to add those six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I would ask them, how many in total? Ten. Okay, so we take that 10 candy bars, and the last sentence says he gave three candy bars to the zombie. I would ask my students, do I add or do I subtract to find that? Okay, and hopefully they'll respond that they subtract. We're going to take three of them away. One, two, three. And how many are left? Seven. Okay, let's do the second response, I would maybe do two a day. Dracula was thirsty. He drank four glasses of blood on Monday, five glasses of blood on Tuesday, and six glasses of blood on Wednesday. How many glasses of blood did Dracula drink that week? I would leave this up, have my students get use their worksheet, okay? to write the math equation and maybe even some symbols to help them understand the problem. The question is presented again, so I would read it out loud as we're doing it as a class. Dracula was thirsty. He drank four glasses of blood on Monday. Four. One, two, three, four. Five glasses of blood on Tuesday. Am I going to add or subtract there? Okay. 
you're going to add five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that is going to equal nine. Okay, I'm going to take those nine glasses of blood. Okay, and my last part is he drank six glasses of blood on Wednesday. <coughs> Am I going to add or subtract? I'm going to add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And my total is going to be 15. Okay. Again, there's 10 activities. Let's skip to the last one. <coughs> this is question number 10. The witch and the skeleton each brought five pumpkins to the party. The monster brought two pumpkins to the party. How many pumpkins were there at the party? Okay, and I'm not going to go through all these steps reading it for you. Okay, so we would have the five that the witch brought plus the five that the skeleton brought equaling ten. We take those ten and we add them to the two that the monster brought. And we get 12. Okay, and that is the end of the slideshow. I believe that your students will really enjoy doing these Halloween animated math word problems. This is Heidi McDonald from Unique Teaching Resources.